Well, it's New Year's Eve and it's all quiet on the Western Front. Well, on the taxi rank anyway. There's nothing exciting happening. It's what? It's 20 past 12 in the afternoon and uh, it's extremely quiet. So, while it's extremely quiet, I thought I'd do myself another video. And this time I want to talk about some of the accessories I got uh, that go alongside my Insta360. 1x. I'm getting really good at saying this name now and turning into a real professional. Um, the reason I'm doing it today is tomorrow, well I'm going to be working till about three o'clock in the morning after having a, uh, a sleep this afternoon. I'm going to be working till about three o'clock in the morning uh, sorting out all the party revelers and, and probably end up sleeping most of the day tomorrow so I'll not get a chance to do it tomorrow. So I'm going to do it today. What the hell. So the first, um, the first accessory that came with the pack is my little tripod, and it's a it's a swivel tripod. It's the one that you use to make the um, the bullet time. So you can have it so it turns like that, or you can lock it off so it doesn't turn. Stick it on a table. Stick your little 360 camera on it. Stick it on the floor. Stick your 360 camera on it, and Bob's your mother's brother, it's uh, it's very, very good, quite sturdy, legs are a bit plasticky like, but yeah, it's not bad, I've had better, I've had worse. The next bit of kit I've got is the ever essential invisible selfie stick, so can you see it, yeah, it's not invisible at the minute, um, it's quite a good design, it's really solid. They do a carbon fiber one which is quite a bit lighter but it is a bit more expensive. I'm happy with this. It came with the camera, came as a kit. Um, when you're using it alongside the uh, the tripod, if I want to do a bullet time I can screw it on there and swing it around or I can screw it on the top just to make it either a little bit longer or um, use it as a monopod. There you go. Not a particularly stable monopod. I wouldn't use it um, if it was a bit windy or there was a danger of somebody brushing against it because it would knock over very, very easily. And these uh, 360 cameras are quite delicate and it will cost you quite a bit of money <laughs> for a new camera if it lands on the lens. It won't be long in breaking. So that's the invisible selfie stick. Now I did buy another selfie stick. This one. Um, and it is uh, Three meters long, ten foot long, whichever you work in metric or imperial or whatever. Uh, it's very, very long. It's carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, not fiber. <laughs> Could do with a few fibers. Uh, it's carbon fiber. Um, it's very, very bendy and it will nip your fingers if you're not careful when you're putting it away. So you do need to be careful with it. But once again, it is invisible. Uh, it's not the Insta version. The Insta version is the wrong side of 50 quid. And I think I paid just over £20 for this one. So, um, you know, I've not paid a fortune for it. And it works, seems to work just as well. Uh, apart from it being a bit of a, a finger nipper. If you're not careful when you're collapsing it. But, uh, yeah, you can do the old... Um, drone shots and and that kind of thing with it with it being so much longer you can do uh, one or two things that you can't do with the shorter invisible selfie stick if you know what i mean now when i uh when i bought the camera i did get a free sd card with it which was uh, a 32 gig which is not particularly very big so um i've stuck a 125 gigabyte um SD card in the camera and I have bought another one so that gives me um, you know a lot a lot of storage so that if I do go out for the day somewhere um, I'm not going to run out of 
storage space. I don't have to worry about downloading everything um, either onto the iPad or, or onto a solid state hard drive or anything like that. Um, all I need to do is swap the SD cards. Trouble is with these micro SD cards. <laughs> they, they're like the Twilight Zone. You put them somewhere, they're that small, they disappear. So you need to make sure that you put them in a little plastic case to keep them safe. Right, the other thing I bought is in this little soft bag. And it's the, uh, what do they call it? The action case or whatever. Um, I've still got the stickers on, so I've never used it. Um, but I will be doing when I go away. Now, for me, this is ideal if you go in, not necessarily in the water. I mean, it is waterproof down to five metres. Um, but if you're going, like, on the beach, and I'm hoping to go on the beach, uh, or if you're going somewhere where the terrain's a bit rough and there's a chance you're going to drop the camera. Now, obviously, if you drop it and it scratches the lens covers, throw it away. But it's like 45 quid instead of, uh, or 50 quid, instead of 400 and odd pound. So it's a worthwhile investment. To fit the camera in it, oh, I've got hiccups again. I don't know why. Um, you unscrew the mount at the bottom, and it's a standard um, GoPro mount. And then you pull the case off like that. And then what you do is you've got a little arrow there. You pull the arrow that way. Actually, you've got two arrows. You've got one there and you've got one there. So you pull that one that way and then that arrow goes that way. And there you go. Look, it opens dead simple when you know how to do it. And then the camera and the case should open. There we go. Oh, that was tight. Inside here you can fit some little... Uh, little doodars which are supposed to absorb all the moisture and stops the um, stops the case from fogging up. So I would put those in and then stick your camera in and it closes up like that. A couple of problems with it, it's a bit of a pain if you're uh, changing batteries um, and obviously the audio is going to be absolutely rubbish but it's going to protect your camera from sand and rubbish, you know, all the crap that's on the beach, if you go on the beach, uh, or anything else that can damage it. We've got two rubber pads on the front so that you can uh, operate the buttons. Um, then what you do is this bit goes back on, so we open it up, and there's a cut out there where the hinge goes. So we line that up with the hinge... That bit fits in there like this somehow. I'm assuming the more that you do this, the better you get at it. Now we'll stick that in there for, like that first. There we go. Done. Stick the GoPro mount in. I've dropped it on the floor. I'm a pudding. <laughs> there we go, got it. And that screws in there. If you can line everything up, that's it. So, like I say, waterproof down to five metres, keeps all the sand and rubbish and everything else off your camera, protects your camera. Um, if it gets knocked while it's on the selfie stick, it's this that's going to break and not the mount on the bottom of the camera. So, a worthwhile investment, I do believe. Now, when I bought the camera, I thought uh, it said I was going to get a, a, an extra battery free. So, I thought I was going to end up with two batteries. And <laughs> in actual fact, I ended up with three batteries. Uh, and the batteries tend to last about... 45 minutes I wouldn't I wouldn't say any longer if you if you if you say 45 minutes and they last a bit longer it's a bonus if you say they last an hour and they only last 45 minutes you're going to wonder why so I say 45 minutes the battery's going to last 
So thinking I was only going to have two batteries and a load of uh, memory on my SD cards, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, my problem now is I'm not going to have enough batteries. So I bought this. I've only put one battery in it, just to show you. And it's a little portable battery charger. You can plug it into your cigarette lighter on your car, or you can plug it into, um, into a um, USB on your computer or whatever when you get home and it'll charge three batteries all in one go now the batteries tend to click in I'm not saying if you don't bash it they're not going to fall out but they they tend to click in so you put them in and then you press it down and it goes click and this came with two batteries as well so I <laughs> so I ended up actually with five batteries which I'm not going to complain about you can never have enough batteries when it comes to running cameras can you so I've got five batteries now, I've got two reasonable size SD cards, uh, I'm all set, I can go out shooting all day, not worry about running out of battery or running out of SD card space. So, I'm quite happy. Now I know this has been a bit of an unusual video because uh, instead of sitting inside at my desk or outside walking around um, doing my video, I'm sat in a taxi. Um, beating back the boredom and watching the world go by. There's some weird people around here, you know. <laughs> so I'm sat here watching the world go by doing my video. Anyway, like I say, it's been a little bit different to what I normally do. So if you've enjoyed it, please share it. Please give it a thumbs up, one of them. Uh, please subscribe, really, really appreciate it. And uh, you can subscribe down there as usual. And hopefully... I will see you in the next video, next year. Happy New Year, everybody. Have a great time. Don't get too drunk. And if you do, just be, remember, be kind to the taxi drivers and give them a good tip. See you later. Bye.